My father and grandfather came out from England as group settlers and um, this is the farm that they were allocated at, at the time. And the property that we run is um, a few k's down the road and on, on both of them we have about 150 acres of um, beef cattle. In the early years it was um, Jersey cows and uh, shorthorn cows in the dairy and we changed to Frisian and with those um, we, we crossed them with um, beef bulls to get beef heifers and then once we had went out of dairying we had those first cross heifers for um, our beef herd and that was the basis of our beef herd and so we've improved the quality of the beef herd through the selection of bulls and also the selection of heifers and cows that we've kept over the years. So things that Derek and Beth are doing really well is that they're focused on nutrition, so seeing their rotational grazing, being able to keep that nutrition in front of their young stock that are growing out, um, and also that helps a little bit with their animal handling strategies, so keeping animals quiet and, and used to being handled as well. Nutrition for our stock just comes from our pastures, clover and ryegrass based pastures. We do a bit of pasture improvement by reseeding pastures. We grow crops for hay and those, those crops include oats, ryegrass and clover. Cows calve in January and that way we're turning off the calves at the end, end of springtime so when they're being turned off they're turned off very good feed. So it's all a um, pasture based production. In the last two years Derek and Beth have had high compliance rates to MSA specs, so that compliance rate of around 96.5%. But in terms of the quality of the cattle that they send, their average MSA index has been 67.21. They're also turning off relatively young animals, so that average ossification score of 120. Obviously we spend quite a bit of time with the animals when they're feeding hay, so they get, they, they get used to that handling. We never chase them anywhere, they always um, allow them to find their own way to the next paddock, just open the gate and they'll come through. So with our grazing management, they've always got fresh paddocks to go into and I think that makes a big difference. They've always got something to look forward to and uh, we get them up to weight by the end of the year. Or well, those, those that get up to weight, um, the agents will assist us there in terms of determining which ones are suitable for the trade and we'll use the agent's advice to um, you know, select the animals which will go to the trade. We registered the MSA right at the beginning of the, of the program. I think that the benefits are that we get a, a guaranteed place in the market. So those animals that we, that we grow on the farm um, that, that get up to that standard, you know, we, we have a market for them. I think as far as the future goes, I hope we enjoy what we're doing at the moment. But um, who knows, with um, our grandchildren coming on, our family taking interest in what we're doing, and they're here quite regularly. So. Um, we're quite happy to see what develops in the future.